Hello, y'all. What's going on? Hope all is well. Hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, night, whenever you're hearing this. So, we're still in new moon energy, which means this is still a powerful time for you, okay? So, we definitely going to pull some moon magic. Uh, I said some moon magic. Somebody doing some moon magic. Now, you know, it goes both ways. It could be good or bad, you know? <laughs> for those of you who are manifesting this beautiful life, for yourself congratulations because it's happening this is a very very powerful month to get all the abundance that you want you get everything you want and need okay and for those who are doing dark moon magic um it's being returned to center let's keep going what's happening spirit what's going on remember everything outside of you is just a projection of yourself of your inner thoughts so we're not judging nobody but we definitely returning energy back to sender we got forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine okay this is somebody coming together somebody could have three stars on their chest Somebody could be a fire sign. They got three stars on them. Your person could have a star on them as well. This is giving big earth angel energy. Okay. Forgiveness. It's very powerful. Stop focusing in your energy on the past events. What else, spirit? Don't you want them to know? Okay. That's a lot going on. All right. Don't make decisions based on guilt. Or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Earth angel energy. Big earth angel. Your person is ready to surrender. They're asking for forgiveness. I got surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So some of you are still focusing on, on past events that happen, especially when it comes to your twin flame. A lot of you, we are all at different stages and phases of our journey. So for those of you on a twin flame journey, right now is the time to surrender and allow things to flow into your life. This is the time to be open to receive so everything can work out for you. If you currently want to be in a connection with your twin flame, you have to let go of the attachment part first and forgive them for the past events that happened so that you can move forward. Because right now, in this present moment, whatever you're feeling, you're manifesting. So if you're still manifesting past events, then y'all are in misalignment. Remember, you want to be aligned with your person. Look, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you. Follow it with faith, period. That's a lot about the past that just has been said. Each card has talked about the past. And don't make decisions based on guilt of things that you may feel like you're supposed to do because of past situations. We're going to pull some more messages real quick. Give me a few of them, Spirit. See what's going on for my people. And then I'm going to put some tarot on it. What else we got? What else? Okay, that's three. Let's do one more. A new start is coming. Overall energy. A new start is coming. Yes, yes. And that's new moon energy. Mmm. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. And if I'm not mistaken, is this new moon in Sagittarius or Aquarius? I would have to look. Look, I thought it was only four, but five came out. Look, you're very close to achieving your goals. Adjustments are required, though. Mm -hmm. Work through your fears. Because a new start is coming. Let go of the past. Let go of the hurt. Um, forgive yourself. Forgive those people. Um, forgive your person. Now, forgiveness doesn't require reconnection. So that part is up to you. But if you're listening to me, and you know I'm a twin flame reader or a high-level soulmate, 
then obviously I feel like, you know, that I'm here to help bring y'all together. Like, I'm mutual. I don't take sides. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to step in their power, especially all those chosen ones, okay? You've been through a lot, and you deserve happiness, too, regardless who tried to take it from you. You got some type of new beginning that's, like, right here for you right now. You just got to work through your fears to get it. This could be you or your person. Oh, I can't show these cards. My bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> the Emperor. The Emperor with the Ace of Wands, with the Four of Wands. Your person wants a new beginning, but there are some adjustments that are needing to be required. This person needs to reach out to you. This person needs to work through their fears. They need to let go of people, places, and things from the past that kept them stagnant. I feel like they made certain decisions based off of guilt. Somebody was making them feel guilty about moving forward, but they found out the truth. The sun with the King of Cups. This person wants to be with you. And you're very close to achieving this. You can feel it very strong. Let me tell you something. It's a very magical time. Look, luck is on your side. Things are working out for you. Ace of Swords, Page of Swords. So this person has been watching you very closely, okay? They feel like you are their good luck charm. This person is ready to surrender. It's funny because this card is under surrender. This is the Ace of Swords. Let's see. And he's surrendering. He, she, take what resonate. So this person is ready to surrender, but they're watching you very closely. This person astral travels to your home. They come to you because right now they know they're about to come towards you. They just want to make sure that, like, you're still on the same page, like, that y'all are aligned, that this will work out, you know what I'm saying, before they come. They don't want to just rush in. This person is trying to find some type of balance here after becoming single. They had to let go of people, places, and things, and it's given another lover. Nine of Pentacles with the lover's card. They had to stand up for themselves. Five of Swords. They seen how strong you are. You've actually showed them how to get out of this negative toxic karmic cycle. This pattern kept repeating over and over again until y'all finally learned the lesson. And now there's some type of happiness, joy, and peace that's trying to come in. You just have to find it within yourself. And I'm not saying that every day is going to be butterflies and rainbows and fairies. Some days it will be, you know, storms. But can you stay in the rain? Can you make it past the, the storm so that you can see that sunshine again and witness that rainbow? You know, and receive that pot of gold that's at the end. Be open to receive right now. You are aligned with your person. This person has had cut ties with a um, karmic partner. Okay? They were juggling between you and them, and you got the short end of the stick at first, and now they had some type of realization. This was sudden realization, even though the tower is not out here, but we got the sun with the ace of swords, with the page of swords. Yeah, this emperor got some type of sudden realization, and they want to talk to you about it. They want to communicate with you. So communication is coming soon. Four of Wands, this is union energy. This is 11-11 energy. You could be seeing that all the time. Some of you are destined to be stars, the both of you. Y'all have some type of high-level connection. Y'all might end up being celebrities, or some of you may be celebrities already because there are twin flames that's already celebrities. Okay? Yeah, a lot of you got a lot of powerful things that's happening. Nine of Cups, many wishes are being fulfilled. Six of Cups, reunion is happening for y'all. This person misses you so much. Queen and King of Cups is out here uh -huh, with the Empress and the Emperor. Oh, yeah, this is a magical time for these lovebirds. The Queen and King of Cups. This is uh, an unconditional, um, emotionally mature, loving relationship. Where y'all both giving to each other, nurturing each other. You make him feel like the man. The love that you have, the way you love this person, whether it's a man or a woman, you make them feel like they the sugar honey iced tea. And they are. We got the emperor and the empress out here. Y'all both are. And this person recognizes that too. This person wants to wake up to you at night. You're the person that they want to marry. They want to express that to you. You bring them some type of happiness that they never felt in their life before. You make them feel like true love finally exists. Because I feel like this person may have felt like true love don't exist. Because they never experienced it. You know what I'm saying? 
that's why they became the person that they became because it was so many people like out to get them or trying to get one up on them so they had to have one up they didn't know that this love was real they didn't even know this love exists people could have told them that's that don't exist that's in fairy tales and movies but remember everybody who make these movies get their vision from something so don't be so quick to judge or say oh this person is crazy oh certain stuff don't exist a lot of stuff that you think don't exist do exist it just exists in a different realm and only certain people can see it only the seers can see you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's more to it than that. It's different gifts that you guys are tapping into. Okay? Um, your person is tapping into them gifts. Um, somebody here, you got people that love you for your intuition. And you got some people that's afraid of it. They ain't think, they ain't think you was that intuitive. But see, the thing is, as you grow, you become more intuitive. So each day, you become better and better. So, for these people, I feel like that's out against you. These people are wanting to learn from you. Low-key, they are learning from you. You know what I'm saying? Because even your biggest critics and your haters, they got to watch you in order to to see what you're doing. Some of them um, copping your same hairstyles. You get a certain hair color. Now they got that hair color. You know what I'm saying? They doing certain things you do and saying certain things that you saying. They really in love with you for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But your person is definitely in love with you. This person is feeling like they don't want you to go nowhere. All right? They're making that big decision. This is a big decision in love with them coming towards you. Okay? And they don't want you, they don't want nobody else to have you. They feel like you're theirs. Okay? And that's needing to heal. This don't feel super toxic. Like the devil ain't show up. So... It don't feel super toxic, but I feel like this person is definitely wishing upon a star for you. This person may have may be doing magic or whatever spells low key to try to keep you from going anywhere, okay? But it's because they're on their way towards you. So take what resonates for you. If this doesn't resonate for you or you feel like you don't want it, you don't want no past person, this person did you wrong, did you dirty, and you still holding on to the past and you don't wanna move forward then this reading ain't for you and I may not be the reader for you. Because like I said, I'm going to always stay neutral. I don't pick no sides. We all, like Especially when we are divine. For those who are divine. <laughs> okay? You know what I'm saying? What's meant for you will not pass you by. So don't, don't allow fear and anxiety to stop you. Don't allow other people. Like that's why, you know what I'm saying? You can't really talk about your connection with everybody everybody not gonna understand what you're going through in this connection and if they're not on it it takes one and no one if you're a twin flame you can't sit there and talk to people that's in soulmate connections or lower frequency connections and expect them to understand what type of connection you got going on with you in a high vibrational connection even if y'all not in high vibration yet that's what type of connection this is. That's why you got to be able to match it in order to receive it. You got to be on the same frequency as your desires. And your desires are here for you. The lovers, the nine of cups, is choices that you may have to make. Some of you are going from rags to riches. Okay. Um, this person misses you just as much as you miss them. You're both both probably are looking at each other pictures and stuff thinking about each other okay but i feel like this person is ready to stand up for this connection this person is making wiser choices when it comes to you this person astral travels to you this person wishes upon a star for you especially if this person smoke they don't got to but um this person could if they smoke or whatever when they get high they think about you when they sober they think about you this person could be about to come to your house they could be about to contact you, 801s, to come to your house or invite you to theirs. But something is about to happen. Something that you've been praying for is about to manifest into fruition. The emperor, the empress, the ace of wands, the sun card, the four of wands, the eight of wands, the king and the queen of cups, the ace of swords, the page of swords. This person is waiting for the right time to open up and express something. Something is about to be said and spirit said um, for you. Allow forgiveness in your heart and surrender. Don't let guilt, 
you know, stop you from making certain decisions that you're supposed to make. And that message is for your person, too. Don't allow a person to guilt trip you or make you feel ashamed or embarrassed for the decisions that it's time for you to make. Work through your fears. Adjustments are required. You're very close to your goal. Luck is on your side. I mean, you're on the right path. You are good enough. You are worthy. You have to be secure. You have to be whole and complete on your own. Um, open your heart up to receive this because a new beginning is here for you. Reunion is here for you. Your desires are here for you. Let them rain upon you. You have to just be open to receive it, okay? And if you don't know what to do, surrender and call on your spirit team. Call on spirit. Allow them to help you get through this process, okay? Say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.